All right, glory to God. So um, in this video, I want to speak about the topic that a lot of people are confused about. They say it's okay for Christians to swear to causes or does the God even care if you say bad words or uh, it doesn't matter, you know. So I, I wanted to address the topic because I want people just to have an understanding of, you know, what scripture says about it and, you know, so that you can better uh, discern whether, you know, you think it's the right thing to do or not, you know. I'm not here to judge you, you know, God is the judge, I'm just here to uh, give some words of advice. Now, um, the first scripture I'm gonna, we want, I want to talk about is in Proverbs, this is the Old Testament, Proverbs uh, 18 verses... 21 and it says death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that live and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof now it says death and life is in the power of the tongue when we say tongue it means the mouth what with the words that that are coming out of your mouth so it says death and life are in the power of the tongue what this verse said what this verse is trying to say is that the way you speak can uh, greatly have an effect on your life and I, I know this is uh, the case for a lot of uh, scenarios you see if you uh, bump into somebody and you say uh, the wrong things you don't say sorry you say some rude things to the person that person might have a bad reaction to uh, what you said but if you say something positive then it might say oh i'm sorry you know i didn't mean to bump you or something like that that might change the outcome of uh, of what you what you you know what will happen you see so that's why i think this verse is saying life and death is in the power of the tongue because your tongue the words that you say you know can either enforce and, and bring positivity and life in your in your life or it can uh, promote negativity and death, you know, so that's something that uh, I wanted to show you in, in the in the Old Testament of Proverbs But now I want to go to Matthew 12 And this is the New Testament first book of the New Testament Matthew 12 Verses 34 Now this verse says, this is Jesus speaking, he says, O generation of vipers, how can you being evil speak good things? It says, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Now, the word abundance, you know, it means a, a large amount, you see. So it says, what you say, what, what you say it, it, it is coming from your heart. Now, this is something that's important to know because if you're always someone who's always speaking negatively, saying uh, bad things all day long, then these things might be coming from your heart. But if you're someone that, you know, speaks positively, you know, you're speaking good things all day long, that's also coming from your heart, you see. So that's why it's, it's a good habit for us to, to speak positive, uh, to... to to not always speak negative, like if you're sick, don't always put yourself down, say, oh, I'm sick, I'm going to die, I'm, uh, there's no hope for me, uh, you see, that, because it's like you're attracting death in your life, but if, if you're sick and you have a different response, that will be uh, health to you, that, that will make you feel a lot better, even though you might not feel better in, in your body, but it, it's going to attract more positive uh, frequencies and, and into your life you see now um yeah so uh in in matthew twelve thirty four, it says that out of the abundance of the heart so uh I, I spoke i said this already but i just want to recap on what i said the the more negative things you speak you see god says that that's coming from your heart and if the more positive things you speak is coming from your heart so it's always good to speak more of more positive, you see, just be more positive, amen, praise the Lord. All right, now um, I want to go to Romans uh, chapter 12, and we start at, um, 
verses 14, excuse me. Uh, Romans chapter 12, verses 14. It says, Bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. So God says bless, to bless people and not to curse. Now, that is difficult, you see, because sometimes in the situation that you might find yourself, it is hard to be positive because of the negativity that, that is coming uh, uh, forth, you see. Like sometimes uh, uh, you might have uh, been having a good day and then someone comes and says something negative to you and that ruins, you know, the... the the, the, the happiness, the, the joy that you had, and then it makes you want to say something bad or act in a negative way, you see? But God says to bless and to curse. Now, that, that's difficult. I'll tell you that it's very difficult, and that's why we need God to help us in those uh, times of, 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 you know, trial, because uh, it's not easy to, to bless, uh, bless somebody when they have sometimes your worst interest at hand, you see? Sometimes... Uh, uh, they, they, they do things on purpose to get you upset and angry so sometimes your, your response is to respond in the, in the flesh and not really in the spirit but that's why we need to pray God and, and to act more uh, uh, in our spirits instead of in our flesh Amen uh, and yeah so God says to curse not I think that's kind of that's plain to not curse but there's other scriptures that we can uh uh, speak about and, and about when it comes to cursing and and so on. Now in First Peter uh, chapter three verses ten, it says, "For he that will love life, as we saw in Proverbs, you see, for he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil." So here it shows you that there's an e there's a good way of speaking and there's an evil way of speaking. What would that evil way be? You see, I I'll let you uh, uh, think about that. And then it says, uh, uh, and his let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. Yeah. So let him let him refrain his tongue from evil. So that means that there's some there's a way that you can speak that is evil and not right, you know, rude, disrespectful, and there's a way that's positive that you can speak that is good and, and you know, beneficial to you and to other people. So that, that's a, a good scripture that speaks about that. Now we're going to go to um, the last book, the, the last book that I want to, to speak about, and I think uh, this chapter, James, James speaks all about uh, uh, speaking positively and negatively and the effect. So I would highly recommend that uh, you read the book of James uh, to get a better understanding of what uh, he speaks about because he does speak some really uh, uh, good words, words of wisdom. Uh, in James chapter 3, verses 6 to 11, it says, and the tongue is a fire. You see, it's a fire. And the world of sin. So is the tongue among our members. That it defiled the whole body. Defiling means to make something unclean. It says, it defiled the whole body. And set it on fire the course of nature. And it set on fire of hell. That means that the way you can speak can really cause a lot of problems in your life. You see, these are words of advice. I, we're not, I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to give advice on, you know, whether it's okay for us to, to swear and curse, especially as Christians, you know. Now, it says, um, uh, jumping to chapter 8, it says, But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Wow. It says, full of deadly poison. Then he says, Therewith, and, then, and he's speaking in a, uh, in a sar sarcastic kind of way, he says, We bless God, even the Father, therewith, and curse we men. And it says, Which are made after the similitude of God. So it says that, you know, how, how are we speaking good things to God and then, you know, we're cursing men? You know, it's not, it's not something that we should be doing. And, you know, it's something that we, we need to be careful for. And even I need to be careful of that, you know, because sometimes the flesh can be weak and. And you can end up saying or doing something that you didn't want to do, you see, or want to say in this case. 
Now it says, uh, out of the same mouth proceeding blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. He says, can a fountain bring forth uh, both bitter and sweet water? Now this is a good uh, symbology that he used because if you see a fountain, most of the time, modern uh, the the fountains that you see, they only there's only one kind of water it produces. It doesn't produce two kinds of waters unless it's a a, a different made uh, fountain. But normally, fountains produce one kind of water. But he said here, can water can the water be both uh, sweet and bitter at the same time? You see, because if you drink it. And it has two different tastes. That wouldn't make no sense, even though water doesn't have taste. But, but um, it, it would be weird to taste water that's sweet and then, and then in the same fountain, grab and taste something that tastes completely different, you see? Or, or has a different texture, that's what I meant to say. So the, the, these are good verses. These are uh, interesting verses that speak about, you know, the, the, the human tongue, the mouth, and... Uh, speaking positive, speaking negative. So I, I encourage you to meditate on the verses that I, I quoted. I, I will put them there so that you can see them. And um, yeah, you know, I think it, it's for me, in my opinion, this is my opinion. You can choose whatever you want, but I think that this is the more positive way to speak to people, you know. Uh, this will, will only cause problems in your life and 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 cause uh, debates and 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 uh, arguments, you know, depending on how you choose to speak. So, God gave you the freedom of, of choice. Choose to speak however you want, but just know that uh, it can cause uh, uh, either blessings in your life or curses, as the scripture says. This video helped you to know uh, more about blessings, cursing, speaking, and and and. Uh, speaking blessings and positivity into your life instead of negativity and, and uh, curses. So, God bless you.